Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Infinite Resources 2020. We've recently unlocked the Elders tab and gained infinite power. But we don't have infinite resources yet, so let's keep going. Alright, so how are we doing with those vibrant capacitors? Hey, we got all eight of them, cool. So that should be the end of the power story. So... Not really sure how many more eight's gonna bring us. But I'm about to find out. Okay, one point two billion. I mean that's 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 not nothing. Fix these last couple. Yeah. Alright, there we go. So, yeah, this guy can have 1.2 billion now. So, he will start running when he has 120 million RF still. Maybe we should make that like, I don't know, 1%, 5%, I don't even know. Yeah, whatever, we'll do 595. Not that it should matter much. Everything in here, I think, is pretty good now. 1.2 billion RF. Uh, I know you can store more in Draconic. Like, way, way, way more. And Draconic, like, uses crazy amounts of power that I just can't conceive of. But I don't think there's any other mod that uses power anywhere near on that scale. Which is probably why there's no uh, good method for storing that much power. Because, why? What would you ever do with it? So, I don't know. It's a little bit unfortunate, though, that X Utilities didn't make a power storage system for the Rainbow Generator. Because, I mean, what are you supposed to do with him? You know, you run him for a very short amount of time, he generates 25 million RF per tick, and I, I, I have nowhere to do with that. He can take 1.2 million in per tick. So... Uh, there's 20 ticks every second, so... Wow, I, I think we're probably... I think this guy needs to run for like, I don't know, 3 or 4 seconds to be full. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I'd say we're pretty good. 16 are not running, yep. This guy, when it was running, it would be 15, but uh, he will never run again, probably. These guys are, yeah, they're all done. I can't imagine ever turning them back on. All right, so let's go get that cauldron thing. Well, I mean, let's go put it somewhere. I need a piece of niter. And if I had niter, I could go set the crucible. And we're going to overflow it. So let's get some crafting tables. Um, this is probably gonna seem so I'm gonna keep I'm gonna keep these in stack too, mostly to get more aspects if I need that. So, yeah. Okay. There we go. Take care of you as well. How are we doing, Skeletal Contractors? Huh? You're good, actually. Okay. Let's get zombies, then. Let's get some Z-Logic controllers going. Okay, so... Yep, he's doing just what he's supposed to be doing. Our durability is still, like, ridiculously high for all these things. Yeah. I mean, I could, you know give them enchantments, you know, uh, empowered, but I just, I see no reason to. Let's see here. Let's cry a little bit over here. Where's my detection gadget? So, yeah, let's just, uh, yeah, I'm just going to clear out all this over here. So, um, I want to go up the max. Depth will do 10. Down is going to be nothing. 
left nothing, and right 16. Okay, there we go. Yeah. Got a bat now. And some caves I didn't know about. Why do I have no power? Okay, fix that problem. Look at zombies. Do a little bit of filling in, but you know, otherwise, I'm thinking it's pretty good. Yeah. We'll do a little bit of filling in. But uh, mostly you're just going to kill yourself, so it's going to be fine. Got a bat flying around out in the daytime. Uh-oh, poor horsey. No. Okay, there we go. Uh, let's get rid of that tree, too. Alright, all we need to do now is fill in this area, replace it with dirt. I don't really know how we're going to get any dirt. Maybe I use mechanical user with that um, that rod of the lands. That might be an idea. Okay, I want to fill in this hole, and then I will come back and we'll make a rift and see how this void siphon works. All right, I ran almost out of dirt in my dank now, and I was thinking if I had any more, and I didn't think I did, but I looked at the system and I realized I've got 26,000 dirt. And the reason is that we're getting dirt from the miners. So I'm not voiding it in the uh, whatever miner. So we need to do something with that before it overloads my system. So let's get a drawer for dirt. A dirt drawer. We'll get some upgrades. Want a gold upgrade for storage. And we want a void upgrade. I don't know if it would take how many ammo we would need to get the top tier upgrades. We would need two for each drawer. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, forty-five, forty-seven. So about a hundred emeralds in here. No more than two hundred, I would say, with all our rest of our drawers. You know what? Let's do that. No more gold upgrades. Let's get rid of those, and we're going to emerald upgrades. So, step one. Take this pattern out. We don't need it anymore. Something's behind me, huh? Yeah, sure it is. Alright, let's see. Where's that gold upgrade? Here you are. So, let's get rid of you. Now, let's make a new kind of upgrade. So the top tier is emerald, makes it 30, 32 times. That's going to be 400 more than we have in there now. So these are going to be the good stuff. So if we fill up all of these drawers, I'm not going to keep adding emerald upgrades. I'm going to do one upgrade. I'm not going to, I'm, I'm not going to, I'm not going to do emerald, 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 emerald. But, you know, once we have emerald, have 32 times of all this stuff, I think we're pretty much at infinite resources I know there is no definition of infinite so we can't you know actually there's not, it's not countable you can't get there but well there are countable infinities that's not the point point is we're doing these kind so let's go ahead and open the right interface and it's time to make those kind so okay I need I'll start with 50 and see what happens. So, not quite where we're going to get with this, but, uh, you know, should be good enough. There we go. 50 of those guys. Wow, we have just so many upgrades. Okay. 
Can I swap you? No, I can't swap you. All right, there we go. So yeah, going to swap out these guys and then we'll pretty much be done, I think, with all of the drawers. So that'll be nice. I'll come back when this is done. This is going to gonna be a little bit tedious. So I'm going to make this dirt drawer and get him upgraded and then I'll put the dirt in the system and then, yeah. All I'm going to do is take the drive out and put him into the uh, drive disk manipulator. So, wait for that to finish and, uh, yeah. Then, hopefully, we will come back and actually do the rift. I swear we're getting close, I promise. All right, let's go ahead and flux up this chunk because, you know, why not? I want to rift. I want to see what happens. So let's see here. There we go. Need my rod of the seas. Okay, that didn't work at all. Okay. There we go. Let's do that instead. So, uh, wait for that guy to boil. Go get me another urn thing. Alright. So, all we should have to do is overflow this chunk and then let it go. And pretty soon, we should have a rift. Oh, there we go, right, right, right there. So, yeah, that didn't take too long. So, let's go ahead and put this Void Siphon down. Yep, there he goes. He's siphoning off the Rift energy. So... And... He'll make Void Pearls, maybe, at some point? I've never seen it before. I don't really know how he works, so... Maybe we'll come back a minute and see what happens to him. So, I mean, he's clearly doing something. I just don't really know what he's doing. So, how's the flux coming? You know, uh... It's high. <laughs> as it's expected. But it should be okay. Um, I went ahead and separated the chickens and the pigs. We need more animals. Uh, we're not getting enough pork chops to, you know, for, to be infinite. I mean, we don't need pork chops, but I want them. So uh, I let them go. And we are out of eggs. We have overwhelmed the ability to make eggs. So with the cake. So let's get some more seeds and make more chickens. So can you guys breed again? Yeah. I do love that tool tip in the One Pro that tells you they can't breed. Uh, I think you guys are all done, aren't you? Yeah. So. Okay. So we've got the eggs, feathers over there. Um, Cork makes them lose feathers automatically, which you know makes way more sense than having to kill them for them. Um, yeah. So we'll get more eggs. We're probably okay on cake at the moment, but, you know, we're not going to be great for a while. So let's see here. How are we doing on eggs? We have none still. So, yeah, there's no cake system at all. None. So we may actually want mana, but can't make it. So we've got to get more eggs going. Is there any other way to get eggs? I don't think that there is. Hmm, no recipe for them. Yep, why would there be? Uh, let's see here. Huh. That's a glitchy thing. Oh yeah, look at this. We uh yeah, we're using a lot of glowstone right now. So we definitely want more cake, we just can't do it right now. So, you know. The problems of uh making cake continue. So, how you doing? Like, I, I, seriously, what are you doing? Make a pearl. 
That was your whole point, is to make a pearl. I don't know. We'll see. Look at this. This right here, that was that hole in the wall I put in my base at the very beginning of the game. You can't tell I had a base there anymore. I've, I've made it all dirt and grass. This is my whole area now. But it all started in a little hole in the wall right here. We've come so far. Pretty close infant resources, I think. Um, I don't know. I mean, you know, had to define, you know, what infinite means. But I mean... <clears throat> Is it even possible to use 20,000 iron? On what? I mean, are you going to build a giant castle out of iron? I guess if you were, you'd need more than 2,000 blocks. So, we don't have infinite iron. Same could be said about copper or lead or any of these things. So, you know, we're doubling them right now. Maybe we should be quadrupling them like we are for other things. Honestly, I don't really know. Hey, is that a, that's a crystal crystal. Interesting. Okay. Eh, whatever. So, I guess we'll come back to this later. You are, I mean... Yeah, I don't know. I'm a little bit worried about the flux spreading out, though. So, I did... Um, I thought I hadn't rebuilt one of the flux condensers. So, I could add him over here. I've got... A whole other setup I could use. So, should probably do that. Yeah, I even have four water dry. I had five, but I used, you know, one of them for something. I don't know what you're doing, buddy. But, you know, there, there's flux over here, flux over there, so it'd be nice if we cleaned up a little bit of it. I don't want the flux to get too high this year. I, I don't want to actually generate, you know, really bad things. I mean, we could put that guy in another dimension or something, but I don't know. I think for now it's fine. I might make a little platform on top of this guy and hope that we spawn. What was that? Oh, a void seed. Cool. There we go. It does happen eventually. I should have waited and see if I could pipe them out, though. I should be able to pipe them into a chest. We've got flux phage. Yeah, you know, that happens. There is a lot of, uh, you know, there's a lot of stuff in this, in this chunk, so it's not great. Should definitely think about making that a little bit better. But we'll take care of it, you know, soon enough. Okay. Hey! That hurts him, I didn't know that. I mean, it should. He shouldn't be walking into, you know, those things, but... Whatever. Alright. Let's go see how we're doing on other things. So, let's get rid of these. And, yeah. I don't know if we actually need Void Seeds, but I might like to make that armor just to see how it works. I'm betting I'm going to keep my Dark Steel armor. Just a guess. Or, actually, it's End Steel now. But, you know. Uh, you never know. You never know. I guess I'll go set up this other flux condenser in the other area. I might need, you know, to gather up some more essentia, though. I don't know. We'll see. So, for now, I'm going to go set that up. And then, I think it's time to look into dimensional building. Because that's really the last step towards getting infinite resources. We really need to, you know, find some way to get more resources. The only way to do that is to either keep mining, you know, forever, which, you know, okay, I go AFK for 10 days, and I come back, we've got a lot of resources. Y yeah, but, eh, meh, that's not really the way I want to do this. We need to do better. We need to exploit other dimensions. You know, I mean, we've tapped our own pretty well, but I want one that's, like, made of diamond blocks. I want one that's made of emerald blocks, you know? Um... I've never actually done that, so I don't know how it works. I know it requires tons of dimensional shard ore. So the first step is going to be to build a, a regular dimension and then do something with that. So we'll see. Um, 
yeah. I'm going to go set this guy up, and I'll come back a little bit later, and we will work on dimensions, I think. All right, that's a good wrapping up point for today's video. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to give it a like, maybe even subscribe to the channel. If you didn't like the video, uh, there's another channel I found called Danny and Son. He does great Britannia videos. You could go watch him. You know what? Go watch him even if you like the video. He's got great stuff too. See you next time.